how many of your children can afford to live in the community that they grew up in? I mean, how many of your grandchildren? You may not want your children nearby, but you probably want your grandchildren nearby. <laughs> funny line, not a funny trend. Orange County's annual report shows we're losing young people. An exodus of more than 100,000 residents aged 25 to 44 since 2003. A lot of California students going up to either Arizona or Oregon, they're leaving the state. Of course, some Gen Yers are staying here, just not here here. Going further out towards Palm Springs, towards Victorville. That's where the prices begin to make sense. This graph shows that only San Francisco is less affordable for an entry-level home. And it's not just homes that are costly. One of the Orange County's biggest challenges is that you're in California. And California is a really hard place to grow a business. The number one issue that comes up isn't taxes. It's the regulatory burden. Newly alarming, the flight of venture capital. Experts call that the canary in the coal mine. Venture capital investment sank $200 million in the last two years. I think all of these over time, the leadership and commitment are actually visible. Broader educational opportunities, that's one magic bullet. Speed and certainty in land use decisions, that's another. We've got the promise of opportunity here, which a lot of communities don't have. And so even a somewhat pessimistic report on the OC always ends with a ray of optimism. This is a world-class place. In Costa Mesa, Pete Weitzner, Chapman News. I'm Pete Weitzner. For the 15th straight year, the number crunchers in Orange County have put together this report. It's called a Community Indicator Series. It grades quality of life in Orange County. I'll let you know how we grade it out coming up.